Do you feel confused by all of this home assistant terminology and jargon? If you're just getting started, it might be overwhelming. But if you watch through this video, you will understand the basic concepts and how they interlink with each other in Home Assistant. If you're just getting started with Home Assistant, you'll find the link in the description below for my free Home Assistant course. If you want to take your learning to the next level and join my Smart Home Makers Lifetime Bundle, that will give you access to hundreds of private lessons and many courses. If you enroll this month, you'll get two coaching calls, one at the beginning of your course program and the second one towards the end. And now, let's roll the info. So I'm using this Lucid chart diagram to create what I think are the fundamental steps to understand in Home Assistant. So let's look at the parts that are outside of Home Assistant. These are your smart home devices that you have in your home that you want to connect to Home Assistant. So just picked a few examples here, like Philips Hue, Sonos, and Unify, just to name a few. Everything that's within this box is within Home Assistant itself. To get Home Assistant working, you're going to need to install it on a device and do the initial getting starting steps, which I do cover in my free course. The first important concept to understand are integrations. Integrations are what allow Home Assistant as an ecosystem to communicate with devices that sit outside of its ecosystem, for example, Philips Hue, Sonos, or Unify. There are different types of integrations. Some are cloud integrations and some are local control integrations, which means they operate within your local network. And these integrations can happen by different methods or different technologies like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee, just to name a few. So integrations by themselves really don't do much. They just do the communication part. The interesting part is are the devices. The devices you can see are always linked to an integration. You can't have a device in Home Assistant that doesn't link to an integration. Each device will have its own entities, which is represented by this relationship over here. For the Philips Hue example, we might have a motion sensor. And this motion sensor is the actual physical device that you have. But there might be different entities. There might be a light sensor entity, there might be a motion entity, and so on and so forth. You can also have examples where devices or entities are one-to-one -one mapped. For example, maybe a lamp device is also a light entity. And when you look at entities and we zoom into this a little bit more, you can actually see that entities have two main concepts. They have a state concept and an attribute concept. Now these are all compulsory. So each entity will have only one state for each entity, as you can see in the diagram here. And you'll have several attributes, I would say around eight to 10 attributes. And these attributes are not entirely linked to the state at all. These attributes live their own life so here is more like a decision that's made by the integration of what is an attribute and what is a state. Bear in mind that you can only have one thing as a state. So with a light, for example, the state is the most pure uh, point, which is, is the bulb on or is it off? So mostly states are on or off, but states also can be numbers. For example, like a temperature reading sensor that would have an actual number in there as the actual state. Attributes, in the example of a lamp, you can find things like brightness or color or color temperature. With these entities, you can actually display entities on dashboards and use entities in automations. When you display entities on dashboards, you can decide to display either their state or you could display the values of some of their attributes. One more thing to consider, the area. So you can create areas in your home that could be mapped to rooms, for example, or wider areas like uh, west wing, east wing, upstairs, downstairs, outdoors. And the areas are useful because you can map the devices to areas. So when you add an integration in Home Assistant, you can map that device to an area and you can also use an area in an automation which you're going to get to now. So the automation concept that you can see here, we have three main components of an automation, a trigger, 
a condition and an action. These three are presented in the order that they're presented in Home Assistant. And the condition is an optional part of an automation and the triggers and actions are compulsory. And basically the triggers would look, would sense uh, a change in a state or an attribute. So I actually need, need to draw this out. So the trigger is waiting basically for uh, a state change, most likely, but it could be an attribute change, which I'm gonna... The actions of an automation actually interacts with your objects, right? So remember we have our bulbs and our speakers uh, here, for example. So how does this actually work? It uses something called a service call. It's a call service, it's an action. That's sort of why it's in a diamond. It is an action symbol. What the action does, it clearly communicates via the integration to the actual device itself. So it goes to the actual device and it, and it makes the changes. So it could be turning off, turning on, changing color. And then that then will cascade back to the through the device to the entities back to the states and the attributes to re-update them again with the new value that was set via the action. And that really completes the loop because then you could have another trigger or another automation that reads from changes of that state. So you can have some sort of infinite loop where you have the trigger and the action looking at the same thing and just constantly uh, keeps going. These are the fundamental home assistant concepts. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions, I will reply to the comments down section down below. If you have a longer question or you have some screenshots, then you can find my email address on the channel and you can just send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But if you want that intimate one-to-one -one session, you can book coaching sessions or you can get two coaching sessions for free if you join the Lifetime Bundle, link in the description down below. I'll leave you with another Home Assistant concept video right over here. Which you can click. This is Geo from Smart Makers. See you in the next one. Ciao.